Georgia is being dubbed the Wild West when it comes to data centers. One data center expert who teaches courses on computer networks and data center systems at Georgia Tech told me, How many data centers are there in Georgia that are above, say, like 50 megawatts of energy? I don't, ha I don't have the answer to that. That's, uh, yeah, I don't, the, the, the specific number that, that I think would be quite tricky to get. These massive energy and water intensive server farms that power streaming services, search engines, banking software, and social media apps, and now AI, were welcomed into Georgia with open arms back in 2018 when the General Assembly passed a law allowing data center equipment to be exempt from state and local taxes for 10 years. Four years later in 2022, that law got an extension of three years to 2031, signaling to data center companies and real estate developers that Georgia is open for data center business. In 2024, Republican leaders thought maybe we should pump the brakes on so many incentives and pause those tax exemptions. The bill they created was vetoed by Governor Brian Kemp. This past spring, Democratic Rep Debbie Buckner said, let's ask them to disclose how much energy and water is used. That bill went nowhere. But this summer, Georgia lawmakers created a subcommittee to research energy and water. Their chair, Representative Brad Thomas, also wants to learn how many data centers there are. Engineering professor at UGA told Thomas and others in the energy subcommittee. That we don't need to have data centers coming in here dictating terms to us. We need to dictate terms to them, but we want them to come in. We want these data centers and AI to come in but we want to do it strategically and we want them to bring benefit to the state. Later in the meeting, resident of Fayette County warned the committee about the consequences of not regulating the industry. We need to see the impact that is happening to people who have raised their children and lived their lives thinking they were going to be in their forever homes and the forever homes wouldn't have Georgia power destroy their trees, and install the giant industrial poles. Now, the public can weigh in on a small part of data center regulation, how data centers are being categorized and evaluated in early phase of development. This is run by the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. It's accepting public comments for development regional impact study process until Friday, September 12th.